Hello YouTube, welcome back to another transmitter video and we're back with our NIG Pro 3. So I thought I'd test it out of an amplifier. There we are, 100 watt amplifier. Uh, exactly the same as the other video I made, uh, except the other one was green. That is the only difference, okay? Uh, you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link at the top of the screen. Right, we haven't fitted our MRF 101 just yet um, because we need to set our bias setting and that needs to be set to 2.6 volts. And I never showed that on the other video. So we'll move that out of the way and we'll set our ramp up first. Right, so there we are, we're all uh, wired up to our power supply now, 48 volts, uh, not switched on yet. And you can see we've got no input drive, we've got no output drive, and there's no transistor. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug it in first. Right, so red LEDs on there, so it's on, okay? And the way we adjust the bias setting is we go on the input for the transistor there and I just go on to an earth on there and we want to be adjusting this here to 2.6 volts so that is it nice and easy so let's zoom out let's have a look on the meter Right, so we're on 2.3, so we need to turn it up just a little bit. So let's do that. Right, so I think we're there now. Let's turn our meter back on. Go onto our earth. Onto our input there. And 2.6 volts. So that is the basic setting of one of these amplifiers. That's the easy way. Right, so now we can crack on and fit our main transistor, MRF101, and then we should wire it up to the transmitter, and we'll test it all out. There we are, brand new MRF101. We'll get him on there. And before we do solder him on, going to have a little bit of a heat sink compound. Not a bit too much. Mm -hmm. Screwed down. And we'll solder it up. NRG Pro 3 out with an amp. So, first of all, let's plug the ramp in. It's on. Switch our transmitter on. Wait for a green LED to lock up. There we are. And then we should just wait for our power to go up on there. There we go. It's doing over 100 watts. Just over 120. I might turn that down a little bit. And the frequency is now 102. Got the fan running. There we are. Okay, so we're all up and running. New cooling fan. Just broke the other one. Uh, 120 watts. Frequency 102. Radio, ready to test our audio. So we push blow on here, we should hear the audio. <laughs> That's a good driver call for power and air amplifier. So we're only on that one watt setting. Of course, we adjusted their bias setting and we fitted the MRF 101, which is 
Hardly getting warm at all. Perfect. Working well. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.